This is Twit. It's good to l learn the workflow app. And in fact, a lot of what we show you today may change by the time iOS 12 comes out in the fall. Right, but I think that the developer beta, some people have the shortcuts developer beta. So workflow will turn into series shortcuts. Some people have it, Federico Vatici from Mac Stories. He's been making all kinds of workflows. I tried to get the developer beta on an old iPhone, but I couldn't I couldn't get it. Um, but so, that's great, because you don't want to see iOS 12, because you don't have it yet. It's still workflow. They just call it shortcuts now. Mm -hmm. And uh, from what I've seen of shortcuts it looks exactly like workflow so what we're going to show you is probably not too far off one thing you won't have until you get ios 12 is siri suggestions mm -hmm. and that does they do kind of belong together because siri suggestions are the things siri can do in conjunction with other apps and until you have that workflow is somewhat limited in fact uh, workflow was limited always because it wasn't an Apple product originally. And Apple, only Apple can do some of the things that you might want to do, connect to, uh, you know, things that your uh, iPhone or iPad know and things like that. Like Apple so, Music. Yeah. Kinds of things. So workflow is a little limited. It uses a, a kind of a, a little trick on iOS called a, a, a URLs, clickable URLs. Uh, and it, and by 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 using those URLs to dispatch messages to apps, it can do a lot of very interesting things. So we can talk a little bit about workflow, but again, this may change. This certainly will get more capable when iOS 12 comes out. Mm -hmm. So workflow you can get because it's just a download. Apple bought this, and this is what's going to become shortcuts. Okay. Well, I I promised the the button that um. Has Show me face the button with my head on it. Here it is. Text Leo. So there's your face. Yeah. And I made this workflow that ever, whenever I want to send you a text message, I just press it. And there it opens a text message yeah, to that's, Leo Laporte. That's, so that's the, so the that's, end result, which is awesome. Yeah. So, what keyboard is that? Um, oh, one of the is ones that Is that the workflow we keyboard? No, this is one of the keyboards we had last week. Oh, okay. Week. Yeah, that's a I very simplified looking uh, keyboard. Yeah, it's, it's something Search fancy. highlights. Okay. <laughs> uh, something so, fancy. Yeah, so, and then that, I just did that through the workflow app. Yeah. So now let's show you, let's show them how, the, how you did that. Okay. Let's show them how I did that. Um, oh, you have a lot of workflows. I do have a lot of workflows. Um, I've been workflowing all over the place. When you first launch workflows, it'll make some suggestions for you. And you might want to take a few of those just to see kind of an outline of how it works. And there's also a workflow gallery that yes. will give you some suggestions. But let's see how you made the Leo head. The Le okay. So create a workflow. And then I have all of these choices over here that are suggested. And then I chose send message, and then I can just, I think I slide it over here. Is that what I do? Yeah, just like a drag and drop kind of coding thing. And then I would um, do the settings, and I want to name it, text Leo. Do, do, do. And then... Oh, I already have. Okay, text Leo again because he's ignoring me. Or you could just me. put two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and then um, I'm done with that. And then I need, to, it should give me options. So I would search for Leo. And then I would choose this Leo. And I could send a text to many people. And then uh, ask when run. So yes, ask me when it's like, what? What is that? Okay. So you have two choices. You can either hardwire my name in there. Yes. Or, or you can ask, say, so, when you run this, right, who would so you like to send it, yes. this message okay, to? Okay, you're right. Um, so, yeah. So here's one where I can text anyone, and then I would just hit play to run it. And then I would enter that, whoever the recipient is, and then that's it. And then, so it, it would just be like, basically, I recreated the text message app there. <laughs> so not too fancy. Um but there are more complicated ones to make. I, uh, I like going through the gallery and just adjusting the ones that are there. Everything I needed to do, I found, was already there. You can also put it in the today widgets. You know, that's at the... And by the way, this is one good thing about workflow. It has a lot of help. So don't feel too at sea. There's, if you ever get lost, you press the question mark. It'll give you some more information. So the today widget, you know, is when you slide over. So you could put a workflow there. That's actually a good idea. You can do both if you want. Uh, and then you can also make it an action extension. It becomes part of the share sheets. So you can tell an application, 
you know, I would like to add, add this to that, or I would like to text this to that, or that kind of thing. So you have to decide it at the beginning, although you can modify this. And again, always press the question mark if you have any questions about this, because so today widget workflows are run in the notification center, action extension are run from the share sheet, Apple Watch workflows. I have a ton of, I have them all in my, I have them as a, um, a complication on my watch. Yeah, isn't that sweet? So you can yeah. see, so I could just press that and then I could text Leo or I have my laundry timer, or my water timer, or my directions home. So right. yeah, it's right there on my Apple Watch to text you. You're going to get a lot of text messages from me. So with workflow, you're going to uh, drag an action, as you pointed out, from the left into the main thing. Now, you may see this workflow does not, in this case, I want to take a picture, have access to your camera so I can grant access. And of course, now I'm going to get more information in there. Let's, so what happens is this is an action that has an output. And the output of the action, every action has an input and an output. The input, of course, for take a picture is the picture. The output then goes into something else, the next action. So we're going to, we're adding these next actions one by one to this and I'm just gonna do you wanna do you wanna send a message let's send You're a message making a gif. so let me show you again what's going on here so this is this is the take photo action use and by the way if you tap the little icon you'll get it you'll get a little help for what's going on so in the take photo the in it'll say usually an input and an output in this case it's obvious it uses the camera to take photos the result is the photos from the camera. That's what's going to flow into this. So you see each thing, it's, it's, a, it's a recipe, right? One after the other. So we can choose some, within any given action, there'll often be options, front camera or back camera. Let's use the back camera. And, uh, oh, you noticed that, you saw that before, ask when run, that's so you can have an option during the running of the, of the thing. How many photos to take? Now we're going to look at this one. This says creates an animated GIF from the images passed into the action. So we're taking what's coming out of this, passing it into, this is where it's kind of like programming because you're taking an output from one uh, action and passing it to the next and then acting on it. So we're going to take input and this is the kinds of input it can take and then the result, which will be an animated GIF. That animated gif is then passed to quick look and let's take a look at what quick look does does it displays a preview input is the file result is the output so you can see you could use quick look for more than just camera mm -hmm. pictures you can use it for a lot of things and then finally it's going to send a message of that animated gif so this would be a way to take three pi what, what this does is takes three photos from the back camera turns it into an animated gif lets you preview it you could take that out if you didn't want to just press the X button. I want to preview it before I send a message. Maybe you don't want to preview it. <laughs> and then uh, and then you can send the message. This is so that's the this is the these are the things, the the actions. You can and this is where you were able to put my face mm -hmm. as an icon. And you, you can, can name it, it. Add it to the home screen, the launch center. You can share it with other people. And notice you can change this workflow even bef even as you're saving it. So you can save it all three ways if you want. I don't, for some reason, have the watch workflow on here. It must be probably because I haven't installed workflow on my watch. So you want to install workflow on your watch to have that. Shall we play it and just see what happens? So we're going to take three pictures. Boom. 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 Now it's making the GIF, so it's actually working on it. Whoa. Okay. And that's the, by the way, that's the quick look, mm -hmm. right? Done. And now that animated GIF is in here. If I had wanted to, I could say that message would automatically go to Megan, right? Mm -hmm. Just as you did with yeah. yours. Or automatically post to Facebook or Twitter or any number of things. So, so that in, in, in short is how, is how it works. Of course, these can be a lot more complicated. And, yeah. and to see the kinds of things they can do, it's not a bad idea to go to the gallery. You'll see up at the top my workflows in the gallery. And you can see there's quite a few uh, that that would give you a better idea of, you know, what you can do. This is a fairly complicated one. See, email schedule to yourself. You find the calendar events where it's today and it's not all day, which means it's an event with a timer on it. Calendar is the holidays in the United States. I'm not sure why they added that. 
You can sort it if you wish. The limit means how many cal. If you only want five, you can limit it to five. Whoops, let's go back and look at that. Get details of the calendar event. And this is a complicated one. This is Programmers will recognize repeat with each. It takes a list of items, in this case the calendar items, as an input and runs these actions once on each of them. So that's a that's a programming construct that you'd see. If you're a programmer, you see that a lot. Take this bunch of stuff and do something to each one. And so the output is, of course, every item passed to this. So but this is a complicated one. Get the details. We're going to actually use variables. You can see how sophisticated this can get. If you're if you've done any programming, you'll see that's a that's a really nice feature because it will take set a variable then it can get a variable so you're going to set a variable that's the title and then you're going to get a variable that's the repeat item you're going to look at all this this is a very good one to look at if you want to see all the <laughs> sophistication that's possible look at all these steps just to do email schedule to yourself <laughs> the thing like i i looked at all the complicated ones and i found that the simple ones make a lot of more a lot more sense to me like did you know that you can't ask siri to turn on your flashlight you can't like say right you know turn but on you can your, make a workflow you can make a work so i made a workflow that on my phone and i just press that and it turns on my flashlight so. yeah Beep. so you're right and that's the whole idea of these Siri suggestions when they come out is that they'll be pre-made workflows for you that make sense and it is true there's a lot of things that you would think that Apple would have given you even just say what time is it you mm -hmm. can't do what time is it you can't say hey Siri uh, no you can't do what can you do you can't do Siri what day is what day is March 3rd mm. uh, you can't say Siri what time is it in Tokyo but you can set workflows up to do all of those things. And when once we get the Siri suggestions, Siri will now be empowered to act on those workflows. Mm -hmm. So you you will be eventually say, hey, Siri, turn on the, the flashlight, right? Yeah, and I think that you... Can you uh, do it now? No, you no, I can't do it now. But, but that's going to be something yeah, in so iOS I've 12. so I've made that, and so now, you know, I can do that. You have to press a button. Yeah. But eventually, you'll be... And this is, to me, this is the really the big thing about this in iOS 12 Apple's been challenged because Siri is not nearly as capable as Google Home uh, Assistant, uh, even as Amazon Echo and many things. It's a little bit of a laggard. So one way to do it would be to for them to write a lot of stuff and put more features into it. This is very smart. This lets Siri get smarter on its own by watching what you do and by you installing apps that Siri can then get to know and work with and then give you the capability of adding ca uh, abilities to Siri easily, much more easily than on an Amazon Echo or a Google Home.